Welcome back everyone to another episode of our Let's Play. Take a look at this. <laughs> I've been hard at work trying to design some stuff and I'm actually quite satisfied with this. I'm kind of going for that random look and you know what? It's actually fitting this look quite well. So down here is kind of still the same. I think this is going to be a giant entrance for something. I haven't really decided that a whole lot yet. Uh, Kind of got an entrance going over this way. I guess this is going to be like a holy room. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, I think it's going, I'm going to bring a room over here, put some glass right here. Going up around here, kind of clean this place up a bit. I'm going to do the same over there, put a glass window. And then I really like this. I kind of have two different levels of pathway. Actually, it's like three hallways, but all different levels. And it just adds a feeling of different levels that I really like in this place. Place requires a lot of stone. I think I will mix in some different blocks, but as of right now, I kind of like the all stone look. I have been mining some too. This is what we're going to be working on right now, actually. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, you're about to fall down there, dude. Come on, get up. But yeah, I want this to go all the way down to level 12. I, can you believe I've not even come across an emerald yet? This guy still can't stop thinking about the nether update. <laughs> I've been I've been watching some videos on it finally because I got to experience it. If you didn't see that last episode, uh, I went into Java and checked out some of the nether a bit. Um, but yeah, I've been learning some more stuff. Like, for instance, did you know that any netherite item that gets dropped into lava doesn't disappear? It floats on the lava. Do you know how cool that is? So no longer, if you have those tools, you no longer have to fear, well, I mean, you'll still fear it, falling in lava, but you won't lose your stuff. That is a really cool idea. In the ancient block I was looking at is actually super rare in the nether. It only like spawns in like one to two groups somewhere in the nether rack and you have to mine for it. I didn't know it was that rare. Made a little dump off right here, but now that I realize it's really high up <laughs> because, oh man, this is deep. I forget that I'm in an elevated area, so I'm going to be digging a lot deeper. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm not even down there yet. I'm at like level 30, but our lovely tool here is about to die, and I've already repaired it so many times. Well, kind of. I think I've put a total of five diamonds into it. Um, should I just do that? Sure, why not? <laughs> Funny, as soon as I mention there's no emeralds, I forgot that I think it's at a certain level. I'm already hitting emeralds down here. I already hit two of them. Oh, there's a shiny one right there. Ah, there's, yeah, there's the other one right there. Get out of here. Anyway, time to mine. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, got some water down here. So the tallest one here is at this point. So, yeah, I think it was around like 34 now that I remember, or 40. Below 40 and above like 20 or something like that. Let's see how many. Uh-oh. The pig's about to break. One. Cool. Oh, I didn't hit the water. Two. That's better. Come on. Three. Oh, yeah. I got three. Nice. Try funneling your quarry mine like I did. It kind of gives a cool illusion. And I made a map up top, so it looks cool in there. I broke into this cave. Haven't. Oh, my. Haven't explored this much yet. I'm assuming, I mean, I can just smell the diamonds in here. Uh, but I need, okay. Yeah, I need to find these diamonds. Hopefully this pick won't break as I'm mining them. And then use those diamonds to repair this pick. Man, where's the diamonds at? I really hate the fact that there wasn't one diamond down there. And I, I tweeted this on Twitter. Isn't that, it's just a cool feeling knowing that diamonds and emeralds are really rare. And we still get excited when we find them. And knowing that netherite is even more rare, imagine how excited we're going to be when we find those. That's going to be so fun. Uh, I've been carving out the base a bit more. Um, I'm not sure what this hallway is going to be. I can't remember what else I showed you, but um, kind of expanding more over this way now. Made a staircase right here to get down there. Kind of making that look fancy. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do up here either. Maybe I could add a window here because this is about to hit the outside wall. Man, still no diamonds. I'm going to mine this though. Why not? I'm getting greedy. 
Whoa! Hello. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Oh. Deja vu. Didn't this just like happened a few episodes ago where we just walk out of a cave and there's like a giant ravine? Dang. This doesn't have any lava in it or anything. Oh, there has to be diamonds down here. You know what I've been hating recently? Is people saying that netherite... Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's going to make diamonds completely... Oh, thank God. Make diamonds completely useless. And that just blows my mind that our people are saying that. Because it's just another part of the stepping ladder in the evolution of Minecraft. I mean, once you acquire diamonds, it completely renders iron pickaxes, stone, and wood and useless. So this is basically the same thing. Diamond is still going to be superior. Like, it's so good. But yes, there's obviously going to be something else out there that you can improve that's why they made it so rare because diamonds are still going to be like the main tool but then you're going to have that one extra special one that you're going to have laying around all right pickaxe this is not the time to break oh nice oh oh no 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 don't break don't break oh there's another one crap <laughs> i mean good but crap uh, oh <laughs> 12 diamonds wow all right finally repaired my pick that got me some more digging in Here's that, by the way. The map. See how cool that looks? I love how these maps actually capture depth. It's a cool little feature they added. But yeah, I'll show you what I've been working on. I mean, all I can really do here with my idea is just dig and dig more. And then dig some more. <laughs> but I'm kind of going over this way. I'm experimenting with this. It's like a weird staircase. It was too open, so I added these pillars. And then I got something weird going on over here. I don't know. I really like the random look of this place. Completely off topic, but do you want to see something cool? We're next to a portal in a random world. Remember the load screens for this thing? Look at this. Whoa. Instantly into the net. Whoa. Whoa. Instantly back. It's almost seamless. If I had a perfect computer, I think it would be seamless, but that is pretty darn close. Just, oh, that is so cool. Just like instantly going in. Okay, I just had to show you guys this. Yeah, I'm on Java. I know, I can't get away from it. I know, I'm sorry. So once I get a taste of it, I just can't leave it alone. It's a beautiful Minecraft day out. We're going to grab some obsidian. I actually have, yeah, right over there. Have some. Borrowed some from my inner chest. While I'm doing this, I have a question for you guys. So, I kind of met this guy on Twitter. I think his name is Oprize. And he made a Minecraft world converter. Now, imagine if when we get back home, there was a way I could convert this world that is currently on Bedrock Edition to Java Edition. Now I know, I know, you're probably as surprised as I am, or probably not, you probably already knew about this, but I knew these existed, but I knew they were always very sketchy, but he has somehow created one where everything comes out okay, and believe it or not, he tested it on my world, <laughs> and I was surprised to hear that, I came over here because I want to, should we just do a leap of faith, it's probably a bad idea, but um, let me know your thoughts, oh, uh let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. Um, be holy Jesus. Because I don't think, because of how much I love Java, it would be so interesting to see how my world would be on that. Plus, we would have access to all the snapshots. Um, I'm not sure how it would work with range, how far it would cover, such as all this area out here. Um, but another plus side is it will reset the nether, so I will have a newer nether for the new update but all in all it all comes down to how well it'll perform because as you know <laughs> bedrock edition is known for its performance and my world is very laggy over there and i have a decent laptop so so transitioning over to java edition i probably won't even be able to play over there so that's probably the deciding factor to be honest with you um but I'm still going to give it a shot to see what it's like. I don't know if I'll continue it. Let me know. <laughs> and just like I always say, when I play Bedrock for so long, and there's so many people that are still confused about it. Bedrock is different from Java. I'm Oh, I thought that was a chest. 
Um, I am not on Java at all, and everyone always asks me like how I have certain things and whatnot. Bedrock is the best way to put it, is an offspring of Pocket Edition. Same engine. Java is a completely opposite engine, and that is why it's such a big deal that there's a conversion where you convert a world like mine over to the Java platform. Well, there was a dungeon here. That sucks. Nope, don't like that. Nope, get out of here. Oh boy, bad idea. No. Oh, hi. Oh, dang it. No. Oh, Jesus. But I don't know. I think I'm getting in and over my head again because I just miss Java so much. And I'm trying to find a way where I can start a Java Let's Play, but still play on this world because I love it so much. I think, all in all, eventually I'm going to have to leave this world behind and just completely start a new world on Java. But I've always kept that promise that this world would never end, so that's that's like my dilemma I'm always in. <laughs> For safety, I heard a skeleton. For safety, that's the only thing I'd want to survive. Plus my books, plus everything. Okay, I think we're good. Wow, I like that kind of hug set. Okay, let me come back. I grab it and then fall in the lava. <laughs> no skeleton, no skeleton. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. You know what? I would actually really like to build in a ravine sometime. I've never done it, and I've always seen people do it. And a large one like this would be perfect. Actually, how I'm carving this stone in my current base, imagine that all throughout this wall. I think that would look really cool. Not one minecart chest in that whole mine shaft. That was kind of annoying, because that was the whole reason I went out there. And it's a good while way out there, so I travel. Anyway. Okay, so you're probably going to hate me for this. I think I want to try... Even making the furniture in this place out of stone. Like, everything. I just carved out a house out of out of the mountain. So I need to designate certain rooms to certain things. Okay, let's go in here into our so-called bedroom and kind of make some shelves. Oh, I still got a lot of dirt in here. There we go. Got some vaulted ceilings. Living in luxury. Okay, so literally, I guess I'm just going to... Make a shelf out of stone. How much more simple can it get? Nope. Here we go. This is going to be our little command center, I suppose. Put a map wall up there. This is our main table where we make decisions. Important decisions. <laughs> Down this way. I want this to lead to something, but as of right now, I want to move this portal. I want to decorate it somehow. Make it look like a grand hallway. Okay, so I think I'm going to have these pillars five blocks apart, kind of like that. I think that'll look good. But I'm kind of struggling. I don't know how to come up with a nice archway because I'm working with even numbers, and it's very hard to make good-looking archways with that number. There we go. What do you think? I think that turned out all right. I actually kind of like those. Quite a bit. I use a lot of slabs up there, as you can tell. Uh, I think this might continue down that way, whatever we end up doing. Oh. This eventually leads out to the ocean. Maybe I can... Oh, yeah, I might do that. I'm going to go all the way out to the exit and then create a little dock. That'll be cool. Actually, I'm going to see how far it goes. Yeah, we got a little... Uh, it doesn't even have to lead to a dock. I can probably do a room back here and just put another window. <laughs> Well, if I have it like that, I might as well do it here, too. Yeah, might as well. And when I'm standing down here, those look like banisters, don't they? But when you go up, they're not. They're just a trim detail, and it makes me think maybe I should... Maybe I don't have to get rid of that. Should I still do the... I kind of like the dangerous feel of that being open, because I can look over. Oh, no, that would look weird. The hole there. Unacceptable. What does that remind me of? Unaccept is that off of Rick and Morty? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and answer this as I'm doing something here. Today's comes from Emma James. What is your favorite Minecraft moment in past episodes? Now, I thought I'd pick a moment from an episode, um, but I don't think it's any of those. I think if I was to pick an exciting moment, it would be when there was an update. 
Like one I remember when we got maps for the first time. I can I already picture that episode what I did in it. It was so like I love that feeling because that feeling was the feeling I felt every time Pocket Edition got an update. And every time Pocket Edition got an update, it just made it closer and closer to the actual version of Minecraft, which was Java at the time. Man, those were the good old days. There was only consoles, which was actually it was only Xbox Minecraft. And Java Minecraft and then Pocket Edition came out. Those were the only three for a while. But yeah, new updates will always be my thing. That's why you see me going kind of crazy. Well, not that crazy, but I'm trying to hide my excitement. But uh, about this nether update, I just can't wait for it. I love new features. Will this look weird? You know what? That'll actually look kind of cool. I kind of like that. It's still going to be a doorway to go somewhere, but it'll just be right there for <laughs> when I go through it. Um, but yeah, updates. We've gone through quite a bit of updates in this world, so I have a lot of videos of us exploring new features, and you, you'll you see how excited I am about them. But thank you guys for watching today's episode. we got quite a lot of work done around the place, and I'm pretty happy about that. I'm not sure what we're going to do next, to be honest with you. Um, let me know, by the way, what you guys think I should do around here, because I'm, uh, all I can think of right now is just c continue expanding this place, but, um, yeah, it's about all we're making another mine. Uh, if you have any ideas, you know, leave it down below. So, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.